Hello people, welcome back to Beauty Jam. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my March favourites. March has gone really quick for me, I've been very very busy, um, a lot of stuff's been going on, but it's the end. And the first thing I've been loving is my silly sponge. Now I know this might seem really weird, um, and I'm sorry that it's dirty, but I do actually use this. Um, but I used to use beauty blenders and I used to use face brushes, like I've always done that, but I recently moved to silly sponges, which are these uh, silicone kind of, they are ble beauty blenders, but they're like made of silicone. And um, I used it and I actually really like it because there is no makeup left on it. Every single bit of foundation that goes onto here goes onto my face, which I love, rather than a beauty blender that completely absorbs it. Um, so I've definitely been loving these this month. And I still get like an even coverage, as much as you can evenly cover my face. Um, but yeah, so I definitely love these and I would definitely recommend um, trying these or getting one of these for your foundation if you haven't already. Um, I really I really love them, I love them. Um, my second monthly favourite, um, my Apple Watch. Now recently this month I started being a lot more active. Um, so I use my I used to use my Apple Watch anyway for the time and things like that. But I've obviously started using the move rings a lot more and the workout mode and I love it because it helps me keep track of exactly what I've done that day. And also if you pair it with your iPhone, you can go back and see. So you can see for the week, for the month. And I love that, and it really has. I've been loving it. I've been loving going on my app and seeing all my rings closed. It's been great. Um, yeah, and I even got a notification the other day saying that I need to up my uh, move count or something because I keep hitting it. So yeah, I really love that. I love that um, feature on the Apple Watch and I've definitely been using it a lot this month. Um, going along with health, and I haven't got anything to show you, but I have got a photo of the wrapper because uh, I wanted some more from Tesco. So I sent a photo of what the wrapper looks like. Um, it's these protein bars. Now I've never really been, I've never been what you call a gym rat. I've never ever been like that. Um, I'm still not like that. I hate going, but um, you know, I have been going because I do need to be a lot more active in my daily life. And I'd rather go to the gym and do it there than run because I used to go running around my local area which was fine and I used to be active that way and that was fine um, but it was in the winter it was freezing cold and um, if it was raining I usually find that I wouldn't go and it's really annoying so um, I thought if I just go to the gym I'm indoors and that's that the only thing I was worried about with the gym was seeing somebody that I knew. <sighs> but I suppose you've got that everywhere. And I did, I saw, I've did. seen more people, right, when I used to go running, I saw more people that I knew when I was running than I have at the gym so far. So I'm not worried about it in the slightest. And I find that when I'm at the gym, I'm usually like in the zone. Like I don't even observe people around me. Because that was another thing I was thinking, I was thinking, what if people watch me you know I don't want people to watch me because I don't know what I'm flipping doing you know so uh, but you find that nobody even looks at nobody even notices you that you're there the only time people notice it, that you're there is if you stand close to them or you know you kind of approach them so yeah and I do notice that and even when I've been there and I'm in the middle of my workout I'm usually in the zone I'm not aware of the people that are around me I'm not watching this man here so but anyway I started eating protein bars and things like that and this one I forgot what it's called but I will put a picture this one is gorgeous it tastes just like Snickers but it's a protein bar and it was great and I was like please get me some more they cost three pound each which is a lot but um, they are gorgeous and they do a, a raspberry one as well Oh my life guys, you've got to try them. They are so good and they're good for you. This is what I couldn't believe. Um, yeah, so I've definitely been loving them this month. It's been great. And the last thing that I've been loving is the Nikki World Tour. I, I'm not going to shut up about this tour guys. I went to the Nikki World Tour 
in this month, just gone, March 14th. It was great. I loved it. It was, I mean, I get this with every social event. I'll book something and I'll be like, yeah, I want to go. And then come like a couple of days before, I'll be like, oh, I've got to go out and I don't want to. I've got to put my makeup on. I've got to do this and I've got to do that. I don't want to go, you know. But once I'm there, I'm fine. It's just the initial getting ready that I hate. And then I use, I'm an introvert. So I'm very much like, I don't want to go now. Why did I say yes? You know, but um, with Nikki, I always pull through and I loved it. It was great. Um, she put on a massive show. It was different to the Pink Print Tour. I went to the Pink Print Tour and that was great, that was. But this one was like, this is her best tour yet. I will say that. I know she's had a couple of canceled dates. So PR wise, it's not her best tour, but visually, this is her best tour yet. And I really enjoyed it. So um, yeah, I love that this month. And um, that's pretty much it. I hope, you en I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for more videos from me. Let me know in the comments below some of the things you've been loving this month. And thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!